What's going on people? My name is Alex Elliott and today I received a stream deck. Received? I didn't receive it. I bought a stream deck and it arrived. Why am I explaining so much details? Anyway, let's just get into this video. This thing is super, super cool. Check out what I'm able to do with it. Boom, Pro Q4 loaded up straight away. Or say I want auto-tune, auto-tune loaded up. Decapitator, Decapitator loaded up as well. Now today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. But very, very simply, the way I'm doing it is via a multi-action setup. So I'm gonna drag this here, multi-action, and what I'm going to do is I'm first going to create a hotkey command. And I'm gonna set this to Command F. Because as you know, in Ableton, Command F is fine. So then that's going to trigger this. Now, what I need to do next is I need to find the name of the plugin, the exact name of the plugin that I want to load up. So I want to do Valhalla Vintage Verb. So I'll type that in. And as you can see, that's the only thing that comes up. So I'm going to copy and paste that, go back to the app, and then I'm going to add another command. And this one's going to be called text because I want it to type something and I want it to type vintage verb. So I'll call that Valhalla vintage verb. Now, after this, this is what's so important. You want to make it click enter, but then you want it to click enter again. Now, the reason being is because this is happening so fast, there can be a little delay. I tried messing around with adding in the delay, but that didn't seem to work. Double enter seemed to make it work perfectly so we'll go ahead and we'll set that up and now if we x this off and if i click this button then it should load up a valhalla vintage verb now if you're anything like me you want to make sure this thing's looking graphical breath you got to make sure it's looking beautiful so you want to go to create new icon and then it's going to load up this page here very simply you want to find an image so for me i've downloaded already a screenshot vintage verb drag that in hit width um, or height in this case, and that'll just give it like the right kind of scale. You can go ahead and add some text if you want to as well, but I'm not going to add any text to this. I'm just gonna save this as a key. This is gonna go to my download folder. And then when I go back to the app, I can literally just load that up. We go set from file, go to my downloads folder, find that picture, boom, bam. There it is. It really is that simple. Now, there is another side to this as well, which is really, really cool, which is setting up custom shortcuts. Now, one thing with Ableton, I don't know why it's so annoying, but for whatever reason, this freeze and flatten doesn't have a shortcut assigned to it, but there is actually a workaround for this on Mac. I can't answer for PC, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure there's something called Keyboard Maestro for PC, but for Mac, very simply, I went to my system settings and then I went down to keyboard. Once I was in keyboard, I went to keyboard shortcuts here and then I went to app shortcuts. And right here, I added in this shortcut called freeze and flatten. And the way that I did this was very simple. I first chose the application, Ableton Live, and then this is very important. You have to type exactly word for word what the name of this shortcut is going to be. So freeze and flatten track is what the shortcut's called. And then right here, you can hit on the keyboard, push the buttons of what shortcut you want it to be, and then you hit done. I'm not gonna hit done because I don't wanna duplicate it, but that will put it here. Now, the reason why that's powerful is because if you then go back to the OBS app, I've already done it here, but you can see how I've now set this key command hotkey to, uh, what's that? <laughs> control shift f so then when i hit this button this will automatically freeze and flatten that track now as you can imagine the possibilities are endless when you take this into account but equally anything that has a shortcut that's already set up very simply you can just add it by adding this multi-action key now as much as i'm using this for ableton you can also use this for so many other things i'm just scratching the surface however i just wanted to share this video with you so that you could just get a quick insight into how i'm using it and i really think a lot of you are going to love to use this no matter what daw you're using if you like this content like and subscribe other than that i look forward to seeing you all next time